Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Taxajendra. And in this video, we will understand the Docker Compose. Docker Compose is very important concept if you want to run your application in the multi-container environment. So let me move towards the Docker uh, doc documents, the official website of the Docker. And let's see what they say about the Docker Compose. So Compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker applications. So as I said, it is for it is used for the multi-container applications. And also it's manage the whole life cycle of your applications okay whole life cycles means you can start stop and rebuild your services view the status of the running services stream the log output of the running services kind of okay so uh, if we understand applications it could be it could application could have multiple modules uh, in basic term a application simple application might have at least two components one is the code which might be written in either java or maybe some other language like python and another component could be your database maybe the rdbms or maybe the nosql maybe the mysql okay so uh, if application having multiple components then each component will run in the separate container okay so one container uh, application code will be run in the one container and database will be running into the another container. Then via the Docker Compose, the networking will be happening. So application container can connect to the database container and can that, get, get the data, can insert the data into that container. So all these concepts that we understand via the simple examples. And in our example applications, we are having the Java application here which is connecting to the mysql okay and here is our file docker compose.yaml it is very very much important file uh, to configure our application and services into the docker environment with the help of docker compose okay so let me understand this step by step and once we will uh, do this via the simple example your understanding about the docker compose will be very deep and you will understand the concept very well okay <laughs> so first thing that we um, clone this code so I have already cloned this code into my machine and uh, uh, let me move to the uh, folder, okay? So <clears throat> Docker Compose, okay, here is our Docker Compose file and this is our application. Let first understand the application first, okay? So it is the Java Boot, uh, Spring Boot application connecting to the uh, uh, MySQL database, okay? And it is having its own uh, Docker file for building the applications, okay? If we open this Docker file, it is a very simple uh, Docker file having only three lines, okay? So let me open it. You can see uh, we are using the OpenJDK 7, uh, uh, 17, and then uh, here is the our jar files, okay? Because the Java applications is having the jar file, and then we are running this. Uh, uh, um, Spring Boot applications, okay? And this application will connect to the MySQL. So very simple build process of the applications, okay? Now let me understand the basic part of the Docker Compose, which is the Docker Compose.yaml file, okay? This is the configuration file and it tells Docker how to configure our applications into the multi-container environment, okay? This file is having every steps and we need to understand this file very well, okay? So let me open this file in the editor. And then version, version is the more uh, useful concept here, okay? You can use the latest version of the Docker Compose, then services, okay? So whatever component you are having in your applications, it should come inside the services, okay? Like my application is having two components, one is the application, another is the database, okay? So here is the two things, one is the two services are here, MySQL DB and another service is the Spring Boot RESTful web services, okay? So two components it is having, so two services are there, okay? First, we are configuring the MySQL because my application is depend upon the MySQL, okay? So here you can see here as well, depends upon, okay? Here is the field, depends on. So depends on the MySQL DB service. So first MySQL DB service will be started, only then my um, uh, Spring Boot application, Java application will start. Okay, in the container. So the container name, we can give a name to our container. Then here it is the important field, image, okay? So once we are saying image, we are giving it a address, right? From where it will get the pre-built image. So from the Docker, it will get the image of the MySQL, okay? We, if, if any specific tag, tag is here for the image, then we can provide the tag after the colon, okay? 
then environment is also very much important once we will create and create the container after the image okay so what environment variable would be there right like for mysql user would be this mysql password will be this and what would be the default pass uh, what would be the default database okay at the time of container creation okay the database name if that database is not there it will create that database okay and in which port this application will run right so in our from our local machine we are going to create this docker so here we are also doing some kind of port mapping as well okay our application uh, our database will be running inside the 3306 port okay and from our local machine i am going to uh, connected by a 3303 port okay then volume it is the most important thing here okay so in which directory i will having this uh, uh, compose from where i have to run this compose file yaml file and inside it it will create a mysql data uh, folder and in inside it it will it will persist the data okay you know that if we are running a container uh, kind of database container and uh, if every each time if we are stopping container restarting the container your data will be removed okay to persist the data you need a way to store the data inside the host machines okay so this is the uh, address of my host machine where all the data will be persist the network is the important concept like i said that two containers will be running then how these two containers will communicate with each other okay so via the same network both the containers will uh, will uh, will uh, uh, connect okay so here the network name and same into the another service we are having the same network name okay that is how the both uh, uh, container will connect with each other so here is our spring boot service this will be the name of our container and previous mysql is having the image okay but now here strategy is different here we are using the build strategy okay so it will get the docker file okay i have already shown you the docker file this docker file is inside this uh, uh, directory java uh, hyphen my square and inside this it will get the docker file and by using this docker file it will build our applications okay after building the application it will run the application in the 8080 port and it will map our my uh, host machines 8080 port to the container 8080 port then depends upon i have already described so it this service is depends on the mysql db so first mysql container will be start and running after it uh, uh, applications spring boot uh, application service will start and run okay then here is the environment we are setting up a lot of things there okay this line is important here is spring boot data source url okay generally you know we give the my, uh, local host or maybe the ip of the database here but here because the two containers will be connecting with each other right so here should be the name of the service okay and our service name is the mysql db okay so that is why in the url connection uh, database connection url we are giving the service name here other is the uh, uh, username and the password of the database and the driver information network name should be same for both the services and then restart properties on failure if uh, application is failing then it will try to restart by application so that is whole about uh, the docker compose file very very much important file here okay and uh, this will define uh, how the container will be created inside the docker and how they will run okay so now let me go ahead and run our application so um, we are uh, let me move uh, towards the docker container compose okay if we do the ls you can see i am having the docker compose dot yaml file and then our java code here and inside this java code we are having the docker file okay let me first clear this screen and uh, my docker desktop is already running so let me see how many if we are running any um, um, procedure there or not so docker ps hyphen a okay so no container currently running and let me see if we are having any kind of image or not images so no images also here okay now let me go ahead and uh, run our docker compose okay so docker compose is coming with your docker desktop uh, so if you wanted to see whether docker compose is there or not you can run the command docker compose hyphen hyphen version okay so it is saying the docker compose version is 2.18 okay 
now let we also uh, you can also define some more commands here like docker uh, compose hyphen hyphen help okay so how we have to use this docker compose command you can you will get all the details here two commands are very much important here one is docker compose up okay create and start the containers and another is the docker compose down which is for stop and remove containers and the networks okay so let me use these both commands to understand our docker uh, so let me give first command docker compose up so it will create both the services one first the uh, mysql and another would be our spring boot applications okay so what it is doing it is saying mysql db it is pulling right so it is getting image from the docker itself the mysql image no uh, no tag we have added we have given there so the latest mysql images will pull from the docker hub okay so this is currently happening let me wait for a moment once this activity will complete then um, it will uh, uh, start the container and then it will start the building the uh, another uh, image of our application so okay so this part is done now you can see the spring boot restful web services is being created okay It's also done. And now it is starting our application, okay? Both the container and application. So because the Spring Boot application, you can see the application is, has been started. Okay, so our application is um, started well. And let me test our application, whether application is working good and connecting with the database or not, okay? And after that, I will show you the containers and the images, everything I will show you, okay? So uh, let we uh, move uh, into the browser okay and uh, then uh, let me go into the local host our application is listening on the 8080 port okay so application is yes up and running we have to give the proper url which is demo and uh, slash all to get all the users okay so Okay, currently no user is there, right? So we are getting the empty. Let me um, uh, load some user here, okay? So for adding, uh, it will need, it will get two uh, parameter here. One is the name, let me give it as like TS Rana. Another would be the email. Let I give it TS Rana, enter it gmail.com and let me send it okay so it's returned the saved so data has been loaded okay here in the um, um, uh, console you can also see that these queries are running perfectly right if i refresh it it should return the data as well right so it is returning the correct ts rana uh, user to us okay so our application is working good it means both the component of application both the container are connecting with each other very well now uh, to and to see how the image and containers are there okay let me open the another um, um terminal okay to understand it so i am in the another terminal i have to move uh, into the same directory okay if i wanted to make any changes or maybe the shutdown of the applications okay so, uh, in which we are having our um, docker compose uh, yaml file okay so let me move into the directory. Okay, here I am having my Docker Compose YAML file. Okay. And now let me see uh, what all uh, um, um, containers we are we have. Okay, so first let me see Docker uh, PS command. Here you can see two containers has been created. One is the MySQL container, okay, with the MySQL DB name. Another is the Docker Compose, right? That for uh, uh, Spring Boot service, and its name is the Spring Boot RESTful Web Services, right? Like we give name here, uh, uh, Spring Boot REST Web Services and the MySQL DB, okay? So same name with the same name. Two containers has been created. Now let me see how many image has been created. Uh, images. 
Okay, you can see one is the MySQL image, another is our application image that's been created, right? So two containers, two, two image created, two containers created, and these both containers are connecting with each other very well. Now let me uh, shut down our application. So how we can shut down it with the command docker compose down. Okay, so it will shut down our application. So it is stopping. So stopping is done. And then let me see with the docker ps command whether any, uh, uh, so no container is running now because our application is shut down, okay? So that is all uh, for this tutorial. Hope you have liked, you will like this tutorial. You can, if you want to, to do more practice, you can uh, get my code uh, from the git, okay? And can try yourself. And by these examples, you can understand these dockers and docker compose very well. Thanks very much for watching.